I think it's just gonna it's gonna take a while to sink in. I think really all the boys are obviously very very happy with the result and not really surprised, but uh it was a great result on the night really. Yeah, just how, how did you manage to pull it back, Dara? You were 3-0 down with 20 minutes left, uh, playing away from home in a very hostile atmosphere against the quality side. They finished sixth in the Russian Premier League last season, I think. It was a remarkable comeback. You must have thought it was game over, really. I'd, yeah, I'd say everyone would have thought it was game over, really. it went. They stepped it up in the second half, and for 15, 20 minutes, they were they were very good, very uh, like outstanding performance by them. But um, they sort of took their foot off the pedal a little bit, I'd say. After they went 3-0 up, I'd say they thought they were safe. But um, in fairness to the boys, they dug in and managed to, to steal a couple of goals towards the end. Yeah, how good uh, work really is Savitov, Dara? Uh, just looking at the highlights of the game earlier on, they looked like a really, really good side. They're a very good side, yeah. There's, uh, I think it was a couple of internationals. Obviously, Jan Kohler and Jarosic weren't playing, but there was still some very, very good players in, in the squad. And the lads on the night, they were, they were a very strong team. But uh, like I said, the boys dug in great. We we were unlucky, I think, to concede the goal sort of just before half time. If we had got to half time without conceding, we would have we would have fancied our chance a bit more. But obviously, the way it went and going three 0 down, we uh, we thought we were dead and buried. But it was a great performance to come back. Yeah, do you think they underestimated you and probably maybe didn't give you enough respect? I heard your CEO Richie Sadler saying um, their chairman had the cigars out in the director's box when you were three 0 down. Yeah, I'd say he probably did, but. Uh, Maybe underestimate us in the in the first leg. I don't think they really came out all all kinds of plays in in um in the home leg for us. But uh again, obviously came back to Horton with us getting the one nil win. But uh in their place they they were a very good team and uh, I think they fancied themselves highly to win. Yeah, and I believe you had a right ordeal getting there as well. It was the the Russian town of Samara. You had to take three flights to get there. Can you tell us about that, Ara? Yeah, we flew in um I think it was Monday evening, flew into London stayed there for the night and then we were I think we were in the airport for six the next morning and we ended up flying to Moscow then I think four hour wait and then to Samara which is another two hours but with the time difference we ended up getting in I think pretty much midnight in in Russia so it was sort of a day and a half traveling to get there and took its toll a little bit the next day but obviously the, the boys done well on the night. Absolutely, and it was uh, it was certainly one of the best results achieved by an Irish club in Europe in recent years. Of course, you played in Europe with Cork City as well. And uh, how much do the players enjoy playing against teams from the continent? I'd imagine it's nice to get a break from domestic action. Yeah, it's great. You get to play against some big teams in Europe. Obviously, now this is one of the bigger teams we'll play when we play Bucharest. But it's nice to get a, a little trip every now and then, every every couple of weeks. Obviously, with the different the different legs if you get through. But uh, it's a nice break from the league. Yeah, and everyone everyone enjoys it. Yeah, and it's Stoya Bucharest, as you say, in the next round, Dara. Another step up, I'd imagine, really, in terms of quality. Uh, you have the advantage of playing the away leg behind closed doors. Um, are the players confident of getting through, or do you think it might be a step too far? I'd, you'd have to say we're, we're quite confident, with the, obviously, with the result in the last leg. The Russian league, I think, is, is rated probably one of the top in Europe, so it's obviously a very good team we've beaten. But uh, I'm sure the management will have a few videos now for us to have a look at, and we'll, we'll see what they like. I'm sure they'll be a, a top side again, but... Uh, all we can do is 100, 180 minutes against a, a good team. You never know what can happen. Yeah, and if you do get through, obviously it would be, be history, really, that you get to the, the group stages of the Europa League. Um, the first time, really, that's ever been achieved by any Irish club. But that would be absolutely massive, wouldn't it? It would be. It'd be great for the league as well. The way the way things are going, obviously, with, with the Cork situation, the way things have been with um, Bohemians, there's, there's talk of trouble there. And there's, all around the league, really, things don't seem to be going too well. So it'd be, be nice to have... Some good news for the league. Yeah, and I'm sure you're hoping your performances in Europe can spur you on in the league as well, because you've had a disappointing year so far. Yeah, it's been it's been highlighted how how we've been very sort of poor, well poor in the league and inconsistent, I'd say. But uh, like I say, we've got a lot of injuries back now. We have a, a full squad, so again, if the, if we can take the European performances into the league, then hopefully we'll start moving in the right direction and start getting up the league. Yeah, just finally, Dara, your old club, Cork City, obviously uh, been in the news for all the wrong reasons lately, but things starting to look up over the past week or so. I'm sure you were saddened to see how close the club came to going out of business. Yeah, it was very sad to see. Like I didn't catch too much of the, the final court case because we were away, but um, obviously heard the news that the club was secured with the paying off the debt, which was, was great to hear. But um, just hopefully now we can keep going to the end of the season and hopefully keep going for the next few years now as well, rebuild and start start getting on the right track. Well, Dara Ryan, thanks for talking to us here on Red FM. Congratulations again on your win during the week and best of luck for the rest of the season. Thanks very much, mate.